Kira, oh my God, you were exquisite in oh, this film. Thanks. Exquisite. Oh, you're welcome. Um, Georgina, uh, a woman ahead of her time. Mm, yeah, yeah, sort of amazing, really. I mean, a huge sort of public persona, hugely um, politically influential, big fashion icon, and I think, yeah, a dreamer and a fantasist. Yeah, well, she maybe was young. At that point. Very young, very young, very naive, and kind of. I think the whole film is her journey into quite a harsh reality absolutely what a life she led my goodness yeah, and i you know does one ever get used to wearing those tight tight costumes no. and wigs no 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 you don't <laughs> um no they're they're amazing they look amazing but i wouldn't necessarily ever want to wear them again <laughs> no they are they're extraordinary but they are very very uncomfortable the wigs were sort of made out of metal Frames, so they were like uh, like bird cages, but covered in oh. in hair. Um, so they were unbelievably heavy. I couldn't really hold my head up. And then, of course, you can't breathe because of the corset. Yeah, it's quite difficult. Um, belching after lunch, apparently. Belching after lunch, lots of belching after lunch. You know, because you're eating and you're in this corset, and it takes it took two two hours to get dressed in the morning. So you couldn't exactly just take it off for lunch. You know, so <laughs> we're sitting there eating it. Me and Haley Atwell, and yeah. you just wouldn't. You know, your food would stop about there, and you'd just be belching after lunch. And I just, I'd look over at the sound man in the corner who was just laughing, I mean, crying with laughter at both of us, kind of looking so ladylike and trying to be so elegant but belching the whole time. Uh, speaking of laughing, uh, poor Dominic. Poor, poor Dominic. Poor you have Dominic. this sex seat with him and you can't stop laughing. No. Was that nice? No, it wasn't nice. It was really horrible of me and I feel, well, I don't actually feel guilty at all. He's fine. <laughs> uh, no, well, he, sh you know, he was wearing a skin-coloured nappy. Yeah. So what does he expect? I mean, what does he expect? I don't, I just, nobody can pull that off. Yeah, it's hard. Yeah. I probably would have been cracking up too. I, I think. mean, it, w it yeah. was, it's awful because, you know, they are always very difficult scenes to film. Exactly. And you are meant to be very supportive of each other and, you know, respectful and all the rest of it. And I just took one look and I couldn't, I was crying with laughter. And the director did actually have to come over and go, just, just stop laugh, just stop laughing. <laughs> Be supportive. Right, sorry. <laughs> you were wooed p pretty well for this part by by the director with yeah. a um, an, an ostrich feather bow and he, yeah. He and sent me the script and he sent it with huge three huge ostrich feathers tied with this enormous gold bow. I thought, oh, if a man does that, you know, you, you can't can, say no. You cannot say no. no. It doesn't matter it's how impressive. much you're going to get paid for it, huh? <laughs> um, I have to say, you know, we were talking about her being a, a woman ahead of her time, but it is amazing if you kind of put it into perspective of now, you know, the fashion icon, the, you know, the gossip in, in the mm. papers and everything. It must have been interesting to play her and, and look back at that time period and say, really, things haven't changed too much. No, I mean, I think that was completely fascinating because it was, I always thought the celebrity culture was a very modern phenomenon and actually, you know, to find out that it's sort of at least 300 years old, um, yeah, it's amazing we haven't moved on. It's very sad, actually. It is a bit. Thank God that they didn't have internet back then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that kind of makes it a whole, on a whole different level. She would have been a complete mess. <laughs> well, yeah, well, I think she she enjoyed it. Really. <laughs> yeah, I think so, too. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of uh, when you pick scripts, Kira, you're so, you know, this one, like I said, is such a mature, beautiful role for you. Moving onwards, what are you looking for? What would you like to do? I don't know. I haven't found it yet. I'm not quite sure. You know, I mean, I think I've been incredibly lucky with the scripts that I've been offered. Um, like really amazing people and amazing roles and, and I think that you know that's that's obviously got to be the aim it's just trying to find different people who are interesting and stories that are interesting you know whether it's because they're funny or sad or, sure. or whatever so I'm not quite sure I'm not quite sure well we always love having you at this festival you're just brilliant in this oh my god and I hope that you don't have to wear any more corsets but if you do <laughs> you look fabulous thank you very much <laughs> you're okay, so well, welcome. That's all right, then.